In our last episode, we looked at Atripla, the revolutionary single tablet regimen that transformed HIV treatment by simplifying the daily dosing schedule for those living with the virus. Today, we are turning our attention to another potent single tablet regimen widely prescribed in the emerging economies, especially in Africa and Asia, a combination of tenofovir, lamivudine, and dolutegravir, better known as TLD. TLD is available under many brand names like Acryptega, Viropil, Trilovir, etc., but is more famously known by the acronym TLD. Similar to Atripla, this combination is one pill once a day treatment that is proving instrumental in the ongoing battle against HIV. So let's delve into this essential therapy and shed light on its importance in managing HIV treatment. Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 26 of the Sex Ed Bites podcast. I'm your host Abhishek, a specialist pharmacist in HIV and sexual health. Imagine life of Rose, a woman living in Africa with HIV. Rose's day-to-day -day existence is burdened not only by the physical toll of the disease, but also by societal stigma and the challenges of her environment. You see, back in the day, antiretroviral therapy was a complicated routine of numerous pills, each with their unique timing and dietary specifications. Rose's life, rather than following the rhythm of day and night, was actually dictated by this unforgiving timetable, serving as a relentless reminder of her condition. Now, enter TLD. This powerful combination therapy has revolutionized the complex complexity of HIV treatment into a manageable routine, particularly crucial in resource-limited settings. Given once daily, this single pill has significantly simplified the lives of Rose and many others living with HIV. The improved adherence due to the convenience of one tablet regimen combined with better tolerance and robustness, less demanding scheduling, has remarkably enhanced the quality of life for patients. Now, if you or someone you know who's currently taking TLD, it's crucial to understand the nitty-gritty of it, to take full advantage of its benefits and effectively manage any potential side effects. You should have a solid understanding of how to use it. So let's look into TLD in a bit more detail. The optimal time for taking TLD is once daily, with or without food, preferably in the morning. This is because some patients complain of difficulty in getting to sleep when they take the tablet in the evening. Hence, taking it during the day minimizes the impact of insomnia or difficulty going to sleep. Also, consistency is key, so try to take it same time every day. However, a couple of hours here or there will not make a huge difference in the grand scheme of things. Now, TLD is generally well tolerated, but it does have its share of side effects. Side effects are your body's way of saying that it's adjusting to the medication. These side effects are typically most noticeable when you first start to take treatment, and they generally decrease over time as your body adjusts to the medication. And for all you know, nothing might happen to you. However, if any of the side effects persist and become bothersome, contact your pharmacist or doctor to talk about side effect management or other suitable alternatives. 
The most common side effects apart from insomnia as mentioned earlier include headache, diarrhea, depression, anxiety, and nausea. Speaking specifically of nausea, if your nausea is so bad that you actually vomit within an hour of taking the tablet, take another tablet and then take your next dose as usual the following day. In certain group of patients, TLD is known to cause weight gain. The exact mechanism behind this observation is currently unknown and remains an active area of research. Hence, for those on this treatment, it is recommended to routinely monitor your weight. If you observe a significant increase that worries you, it's crucial to raise your concern with the doctor. Remember, your treatment should be tailored to your unique needs and there are other equally effective alternatives to explore. Now, let's look at what to do if you miss your tablet. If you forget to take your dose and notice within 12 hours of the time you usually take TLD, take the tablet as soon as you remember it and then take the next dose as usual the following day. However, if you notice after 12 hours or more of your usual pill taking time, then do not take the missed dose. Wait and take the next dose at your usual time the following day. The important thing to note is to never take double dose to make up for the missed one. On the flip side, if there is a rare event where you overdose, it is essential to seek medical help immediately, especially if you are experiencing side effects. Let's now look at another important aspect of taking HIV medication called drug interactions. TLD can sometimes interfere with how other drugs work, a phenomenon called as drug-drug interactions. These include, but not limited to, metformin, which is used for diabetes, certain anti-seizure medication, calcium or iron supplements, antacids or other indigestion remedies, and certain antibiotics used against tuberculosis like rifampicin. It is absolutely vital to make your doctor and pharmacist aware of any other medication you take, including over-the-counter medication, vitamin supplements, herbal products, and even class A drugs like cocaine, ecstasy, crystal meth, etc. to ensure that they are compatible with TLD. Remember, it's in your best interest to ensure that these interactions are effectively managed as this will contribute to the effectiveness of your treatment and your overall health. Now, TLD is only available in the developing world. TLD specifically has been influential in the treatment of HIV in the emerging nations due to its effectiveness, safety, and cost-effectiveness. Hence, it comes as no surprise that global health organizations like WHO and the President's Emergency Plan for AIDS Relief, or PEPFAR, have now recommended TLD as the preferred first-line regimen for adults and adolescents in low- and middle-income countries. It is also vital to note certain other considerations when taking TLD or indeed any antiretroviral therapy. When it comes to consuming alcohol, caution is advised as heavy drinking may impact adherence and can also make it more difficult for the liver to process these medications. As for pregnancy and breastfeeding, if you are taking TLD, it is crucial to have a thorough discussion with your doctor to ensure the safest route for both you and your baby. That's it, folks. I hope that this discussion about TLD 
has given you some valuable insights. Armed with this knowledge, you are better equipped to navigate your HIV journey. However, a final word of caution. This episode is meant to inform and not to substitute professional medical advice. Always consult with your healthcare provider for any health-related concerns and do not stop taking your tablets or make any changes to your regimen based on something that you have heard here. If you believe that you have a medical emergency, please seek immediate attention from your doctor. In our upcoming episodes, we will continue to explore other treatment options and strategies in the world of HIV. Remember to follow us on Twitter at RealSexAdbites and me personally at Farm ID Expert for more updates. Until then, stay curious, stay informed, and most importantly, stay safe. I'm your host, Abhishek, and I'll see you in the next episode.